Welcome to Common Pitfalls. Today we're going to talk about instructors that don't have good personal boundaries with their clients. Now personal boundaries are how you separate your personal life from your professional life. And a lot of times instructors will blur that line, especially in the Pilates studio. It's, it's hard to keep that nice and crisp and easy to define. So I want to talk about a couple contexts that this comes up in. First off, um, you'll get a lot of times instructors, they get a little too chatty during the session. So while they're actually teaching the client, they may be talking about things that are just way too personal and inappropriate, whether it's about themselves or about the client. All right, so remember, we are not counselors. That is outside of our scope of practice, unless, of course, you are a counselor. But then, again, that's not what you're getting paid for during a Pilates session. So telling them things about how your boyfriend dumped you and you're, you're so distraught or, or asking for personal advice about um, you know, how to deal with your, your in-laws and such, again, not appropriate. Also, if a client is coming to you and asking for advice of the same kind of nature where it's really personal and not at all Pilates re related, you want to try to lovingly just redirect them into the Pilates and focus them on what they're, they're doing at hand. Again, you don't want to say anything rude like, I don't want to hear that or I can't talk about that. You just want to focus them on what they're supposed to be doing. Now, if you're really working hard at giving them lots of information about the plies and what they're supposed to be feeling and how the exercise works together and all the value adding statements and vision casting and stuff that we're going to talk about, this is not going to be an issue because you're not going to have time to talk about your personal stuff and they're not going to have time to talk about their personal stuff unless they do something crazy and be like, stop, I just want to talk about this, which I actually have had happen. Separate issue and doesn't happen very often. Most of the time when clients or instructors get into the sticky situation, it's because they're not doing their job at actually teaching Pilates. And so there's these big awkward silences and they're filling it in because they're, it just kind of feels uncomfortable to them. So I would encourage you, if you have been talking too personally, too chatty to clients in the past, challenge yourself. What are you missing giving them and how could that actually help them? This can also come in the form of inappropriate relationships in terms of taking it outside of the studio, which can be very unprofessional. A lot of times um, clients will feel very closely connected to you. You know, they see you two to three times a week for a long period of time. They get to know you really well even if you're not getting ultra personal and they want to do something outside the studio. And you have to weigh for yourself whether that's appropriate and what the studio policies are where you're working. So I would just caution you to be aware that oftentimes this can lead to more inappropriate things and put you in an awkward situation that could jeopardize the professional nature of your relationship and possibly that client's relationship to you in terms of a client. Um, so be aware of that. Always think ahead about how things are going to affect you and them and, and such. And then some people will take it even further and start dating clients. So again, that's, that's not appropriate. If you really want to date them, I would recommend maybe that they take with somebody else or something. It could get very sticky and there might be some policies that you're breaking at the studio you're working at. So just be aware of these things and keeping those professional boundaries intact and focused on Pilates, which is why the person came to you in the first place.